In the last 90 minutes, we've learned the man accused of leading police on a two-county chase has died at the hospital. We're told 35-year-old Matthew Bennett kidnapped a good Samaritan, stole a deputy's SUV, and then led officers on a chase ending in St. John's County. This mugshot is from a previous arrest in June involving domestic violence against his ex-wife. News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michalucci spoke with a good Samaritan who got caught up in all of this last night. Vic? And she is doing well, obviously still shaken up. She says this was a wild evening. She was on JTB when the driver of the vehicle she was in stopped on the side of the road to help a man involved in a crash. But she says that man ended up getting into her car and then driving away in what turned out to be a dangerous and now deadly rampage. That individual exited the car, uh, what he described as being covered in blood. Caught on camera, witness video showing a bloody man fighting with deputies. You can see him then steal an unmarked sheriff's office SUV. This rampage ending miles away when deputies used a pit maneuver to catch the driver. Started out as a reckless driver call, something that we go to 30, 40 times a week. Sheriff spokesman Chuck Mulligan tells us a deputy spotted the wild motorist and tried to stop him, but things escalated quickly. The scuffle happened here at the ramp to I-95 South at the intersection of State Road 16. Deputies tell us that one of their men was trying to arrest Bennett. He was having trouble doing that, so a good Samaritan on a motorcycle came to try to assist that deputy. Moments later, there was an off-duty deputy who stopped trying to help, but then Bennett jumped into his SUV, locking the doors and speeding off down I-95. Investigators found a 33-year-old woman inside the car that Bennett was driving before he stole the sheriff's SUV. They noticed she had the suspect's blood on her. They were attempting to get him back out of the car, and you can see um, that there were individuals pulling our folks away because they were about to be run over. A Jacksonville Sheriff's Office report shows she had been kidnapped before at JTB and Hodges after stopping to help when Bennett crashed into a wall there. He hopped into the car she was in with a gash in his head and then sped off. Amazingly, she wasn't hurt. And again, Bennett died this afternoon at UF Health Hospital. An autopsy will determine his cause of death. As far as that woman who was in the vehicle that police say he stole, she is doing okay. She told me she thought that she did what was right. She asked not to comment. She did not want to be identified because of this traumatic situation. We're live tonight on the South Side. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.